Hi, this is Dr. Bhuneshwari. I am a medical director and fertility specialist at uh, GBR Fertility Center and Hospitals. Uh, we have two main centers, one in Mogape and one at uh, Krompe and uh, Dr. Rayla Institute and Medical Center. It's one of the multi-speciality hospitals. Uh, today I am going to discuss regarding PCOS uh, because this is a common, uh, very common in infertility and uh, most commonly discussed topic by the gynecologist and also the endocrinologist. So we have seen uh, many women having uh, irregular symptoms like irregular cycles. The main symptoms of PCOS are irregular symptoms. Uh, they may be obese, sometimes they may be very lean and uh, they have acne and they develop excessive hair growth that is called hirsutism. Many times we have seen uh, their uh, physical appearance itself uh, will be indicating us they have a PCOS and uh, they have associated complications like diabetes, hypothyroid, hypertension, other metabolic disorders we could have seen. So this many uh, symptoms are there but commonest one what we see is irregular cycles, hirsutism and uh, infertility. So again when we talk about infertility, 1 in 10 women are having a infertility issues. Among them that PCOS is a commonest one. So if you ask me what is the reason for this PCOS, definitely we cannot say uh, correct uh, reason. But we know there is some genetic component is there. If you, any of your family member is affected, you may have a PCOS. Uh, second common uh, association is insulin resistance. So when you have this genetic predisposition and uh, insulin resistance, you have a PCOS problem. Now what are the solutions? So when you ask for it, uh, the PCOS can be controlled, if at all not cured for completely, uh, can be controlled with one is a diet, very very important and exercise. These two can bring down your 10% of the gained weight back to the normal or if you are obese again it may change your environmental endocrinological atmosphere in your body so you can get a correction of uh, hormonal imbalance uh, the second thing is a uh, third one is correcting your annulation so which requires a uh, medications sometimes uh, just the ovulation induction drugs or the drugs which can reduce the insulin resistance like metformin uh, those medications again can help you and the last but not the least is ART procedures when you keep on requiring injections and medications in a resistant PCOD conditions we may go for a higher treatment to reduce the number of cycles of hormonal stimulations and get good quality embryo and oocyte and get a good pregnancy rate so that is where this idea plays so uh, the best thing for the lean obese uh, or uh, any uh, metabolic disease associated PCOS uh, go for earlier ovarian stimulation then uh, have a IUI or IVF and finish up your pregnancy uh, again the uh, most common reason uh, which gets aggravated uh, is the uh, stress so the stress is the main cause which aggravates PCOS it's not only causing PCOS when it is uh, stress is more if you don't sleep properly your hormones are getting imbalanced there are two hormones FSH and LH so when the LH level goes uh, beyond a 6 or 7 then your PCOS becomes severe when it goes beyond 10 or 12 then we know it is very severe and when the ultrasound says that it is ovaries are in love more than 10 ml volume then again we know it is a severe PCOS so uh, what is PCOS? PCOS is polycystic ovarian uh, disease uh, or polycystic ovarian syndrome so uh, this is what it is called about uh, like you know what is a poly means uh, mostly multiple many times uh, like you know we have seen that uh, saying uh, during scan multiple small follicles so we are saying that poly means multiple and uh, cyst means uh, fluid filled uh, small follicles that is what it is a uh, uh, polycystic and ovarian because it is happening in the ovary that is very important uh, storage point for all your hormones in the body and uh, uh, disease or uh, syndrome so depending on that when you have all the symptoms along with the other uh, organ uh, symptoms also organ disease then it is like a syndrome when you have only uh, have a PCOS and infertility it is called a PCOS so we will be a PCOD 
so we will be able to uh, treat with a proper guidance and uh, medication the counseling is very important for you to understand the disease the moment you see uh, there is a irregular cycles immediately you get a scan that people will say you have pco immediately people jump into all uh, sorts of uh, complications and thinking that it's a life long nothing can be done but here there is a lot of positive things we have seen and uh, these people who have a pcod definitely if they uh, cooperate and do the basics of what i said the four things you will be able to ovulate and conceive like any other women so uh, these are the women when you come very young when you have more reserve you can get a pregnancy very easily so no need to hesitate or wait you can just get the consultation even if you are not married get an opinion from the fertility specialist where they will relieve your stress and give proper counseling and uh, don't uh, exaggerate lot of things and make it uh, really a uh, big disease so it is not like that it is a preventable one controllable one uh, correctable one and also treatable so that's what i try to say so make sure that you attend the doctor get the correct opinion from the fertility specialist this is very important for pcos and uh, when we are talking about the diet you have a lot of uh, websites which says that a low carb and uh, low glycemic index foods you have to take that and exercise again moderate exercise of 20 minutes to 40 minutes minimum you have to do whether you are thin or you are obese you have to definitely do this exercise and uh, then treatment is again don't take it as a treatment it is a correction of your anovulation so you must go for a doctor to find out to uh, correct your anovulation and prevent the complications if you don't go to the doctor wait for 3 months 4 months then you have a lot of bleeding or you have a risk of hyperplasia in the uterus or later on it can become into endometrial carcinoma where we may be losing the uterus itself so that is where we are warning you you have to get the consultation at the earliest and keep a doctor like no you have to keep yourself under supervision if you are having a irregular cycle which is delayed after 50 days or 60 days uh, you have to meet the doctor to see endometrial thickness if it is very high then they'll give you medicine to withdraw in or prevent any complications so it is better for you to get treated by the fertility specialist thank you